Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I'm so pumped for today's video. This is gonna be my first impressions with the new Beauty Bay Wilderness Palette. I'm so excited. I treated myself to it. As soon as I saw the color story, I fell in love. This is what the inside looks like. It is so beautiful. The mattes are just tones that are so up my alley and these shimmers are so glitzy, glimmery. I'm obsessed with it. I will say my swatches were not the prettiest for this clip, which swatches don't really mean anything to me. I do it more so for you because you've been asking me forever. That's why I started doing them, but they did not swatch the prettiest, but as you'll soon see, just because things don't swatch pretty doesn't mean they don't apply nicely. I'm very pleased with this look. I'm so happy that I treated myself to it. It made me so thrilled. I've had some people ask me if it's similar to the Melt Muerte palette and like, you can get a similar vibe. There's definitely like those turquoisey teals, the blues, the reds. So if you missed out on that palette, maybe this one could kind of fill that hole in your heart. I don't feel like it's so exactly similar that I feel sad that I have both by any means. The Muerte is one of my favorite palettes. I can see this becoming one of my favorite palettes. I've also had people ask me if it's similar to the Ace Beauté Flare and the Oceanic. And in a sense, it could be like a combination of the two palettes. So if you already have those two and you feel like you don't need this one, then by all means, don't get this one. Um, I can see similarities, but at the end of the day, I have so many palettes. I could probably find similarities with anything ever at this point. So to me, this is unique enough in my opinion. I don't really have a palette with this exact kind of color story. I think it's a lot of fun. It has those bright pops of color, but also lots of grungy tones. I really like the matte to shimmer ratio in here. It makes me really happy. At the end of the day, if you feel like you can already substitute a palette you're interested in with something you already own, then by all means, that is awesome. I don't know. I don't go into palettes all the time trying to dissect them. If something sparks joy and it feels like something that I'll get a lot of use out of, then I'm down to get it. I don't spend a ton of money on makeup anymore, so if something really jumps out at me, then I feel like it's a sign. And this jumped out at me and I'm so happy I got it. In my Beauty Bay order, I also bought two other things that I've wanted for a while. One I've really wanted for a while. The other one was just kind of like a back of my mind kind of thing. Uh, you will see those in a get ready with me very soon. Um, but until then, this is what I got myself. And I just love how beautiful it is. It's so cute. I'm definitely gonna try to do a two looks video with this because I'm super inspired and I'll probably also do an Instagram video slash TikTok. So just stay tuned, lots of inspiration coming your way. I'm very pumped about how this look came out and I'm excited to share it with you. Before we hop into it though, let me just give you my details. My plugs today are from Here No Evil Jewelry on Etsy. I love them. The owner just sent these to me. You can use my non-affiliated discount code BUTBEAN for 10% off. I do not know where this choker is from because I thrifted it years ago. It's so old. And this beanie is a CC brand beanie. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, play with some makeup, and have some fun. Hi, hello, how's it going? I'm getting ready for work and I'm so excited to dive into this palette. Um, it's Monday the 16th. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna upload this tomorrow. So, hello. I hope you're doing well. I've already primed with my Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. Uh, so let's just dive in. I've never used Beauty Bay shadows before, so I'm super pumped to try them out. I'm gonna do something super colorful. Like, we're gonna play with so many of these today. Um, we're gonna start with Raw this dark burgundy right here. Um, and I'm just gonna use this dual ended brush here. I'm gonna use the packing side first. I'm gonna start by just kind of pouncing it right here in the outer corner of my eye. I'm not gonna drag it up too far because I'm gonna use more shades to blend out. And I'm gonna tuck it on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna take this about halfway across. So I want the red to be focused kind of here, and then we're gonna dive into other colors throughout the rest of the crease. I could not make up my mind today on which colors I wanted to use, so we're gonna use them all. Ooh, that looks scary already. <laughs> um, we're gonna take Poppy next. I'm gonna use the blending side of this brush. I'm gonna tap it out, and I'm gonna use very light pressure. And I'm just gonna go in super, super gently, especially because I don't really have a concept of how far these stretch, how the pigmentation is, the blendability. So I'm just gonna take things nice and slow. And even with this outer corner, I'm gonna focus more here, not so much dragging it up, because I want other shadows and colors to go up there. This is gonna be one of those looks that I think is gonna look very crazy until it looks good. <laughs> like these red tones, it's very pretty. And I am wiping this brush off periodically, by the way, so that it stays as clean as possible while I'm doing all this. Kind of sort of something like that. I think we're off to a good start. Oh, I forgot to mention, but I did use Ray as my face highlight. It's so 
pretty. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Twilight, this dark blue right here. I'm gonna take that on this little e.l.f. detail crease brush. And again, I'm only gonna take a little bit because um, I do want some other shades to be able to fit up here. I'm gonna focus this kind of right at the cusp of where that red was laid down. So I really don't want this blue going much further than the outer third of my eye. I really just want to get this blue meshed in with the red. I'm taking my blending brush that had a little bit of poppy with just a teensy bit more of it, not a lot at all. I'm using very light pressure and I'm just gonna go to town kind of smushing these together before I go in with another blue. So now I wanna take Sky right here, this bright blue. I'm just gonna take that on this Spectrum B06 blending brush. Again, just a little bit, just a little bit with all these colors. And I'm gonna take that right on the outer edge of that dark blue. I'm taking very, very, very little bits at a time because I don't want this to get too carried away. I just want a nice soft blend from red to blue and then soon into our teals and greens. I'm gonna take the most gentle teensy bit of poppy again just to very lightly run right at that merge. So next I kind of want to mix together ivy and forest, the like more tealy shades, kind of mix them together. For that I'm gonna use this Alter Ego number six brush. I'm just gonna kind of dip into both just a little bit, tap it off like crazy. And I'm gonna take this right next to that blue, but leaving this area open so that I can lay a green. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna wipe that off and take Just Forest, the lighter of the two, just to have a lighter shade to help blend. I am so excited to play with the shimmers in this palette. I'm gonna take Sky, that lighter blue on the blending brush I used with Sky just to help make sure everything is merging together. And finally, I wanna take Leaf, the last matte that I wanna use. I'm gonna take that on this SL Miss Glam brush. It's very old from like a boxy charm or something a million years ago. I'm just gonna take some of that on this brush and that is gonna get focused right here in the front. I'm so excited about this color. I love me like a grungy, dingy green all day, every day. Oh, that's so pretty putting lots of focus towards my brow, just lightly sweeping it towards the other shade before it. I am gonna take just a teensy, teensy, teensy bit more of Forest just to smush between the two. I'm really liking what's going on here. I just wanna take a little bit more of Raw, that darkest red that I first used. And I wanna pack just a little bit more in this outer corner. I'm just doing light little presses. And then taking, again, just the smidgiest of Poppy. I just want to very lightly blend and stretch this out. And then again, just the teensiest bit more of sky, that lighter blue, just to very lightly dust right here. I am loving that. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, for my lid, I'm going to do a half cut crease, of course. I want to cut it with breeze, have it fade down into ocean, and then I'm going to have it fade down into heat. So we're going to do three. Um, obviously, if you don't want to use three and you're trying to recreate this, use whatever you want. Um, but I'm going in because I can't decide, and so I want to use as much as I can. So I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer, of course, on a flat Juno & Co. brush. I use the glitter glue with every shimmer. It helps everything pop to its fullest potential. And I personally go just slightly above my natural crease, which is partly why I blend my mattes so high up so that I have room for all this. And I just follow the natural roundness of my eyeball. You just kind of have to find what works best for your eye shape when doing things like this. This is what I found works best for me so that I can see as much as possible. Kicking it off with Breeze, that beautiful turquoise shade. That is going to go right up against the cut. Oh yes, that's so sparkly. I'm just following where I was laying down that rough cut. I'm just taking it all the way to this outer edge, right where the blue and red are deepening up in the outer corner. I'm going to put the teeniest bit of extra right here in the front part because I do like my shimmers to lay at a diagonal but I don't want this to go too much farther down than it is because I do have two other shimmers to fit. So now taking Ocean, that beautiful shimmer blue on the clean side of my brush, I'm going to tuck it right next to that teal and I'm just going to carry it upwards again keeping that diagonal pattern so that it's a little thicker towards the bottom and then tapers when I get to the top. And at this point, I'm just kind of gently tapping and flipping to both sides of my brush so that I can get a nice transition between both shades. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna take a different brush. This is my Odin's Eye FR4 brush. It's like a little dense packing brush. I'm gonna put heat on this one, that beautiful shimmer red. And that is going right here at the bottom. And again, it kind of starts higher up here and then tapers lower at the bottom towards my lashes. And now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the blue, 
just to very lightly tippy tap along that edge where the red and blue meet. And I'll kind of go back in with the red brush as well to do the same thing. I'm loving this. I think it's so fun and colorful. We are gonna take one more shimmer though. We're gonna take lime right down here. And I have this little pencil brush, the MB18 from Morphe. Again, it's a million years old. I don't really buy Morphe brushes anymore, but I still have some kicking around. And I want this to go on my lower lash line in the front. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't try to put red and green right next to each other like this, because when you try to blend them together, they can muddy out because they are complementary. They're opposite of each other on the color wheel. But it's a little easier to kind of shimmy things like this together when it's a matte and shimmer versus two mattes. So I'm just putting more focus right here. This is also why I only took the red about halfway across so that I had blank space up here to kind of push this. I wanted to place this here because I thought it would complement this part of my crease nicely. And I think it does. And then for the inner corner, let's just take Ray. I used it as my face highlight and I think it's gonna be a bomb in the inner corner. Just like so. Oh, I love this. I really wanted to get a good feel for this palette and I think I did. Played with 500 shadows today. This is a lot of fun. It's so bright and big. I don't feel like I've used this many shadows on my eye in a very long time. We used what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mattes, five shimmers. That's a lot. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye now. Throw on my lashes, eye pencil, and something on my lips, and I will be back to finish this video. All right, this is my look complete. I think this is so pretty it's so bright so blown out so colorful kind of grungy with the super smoked out lower lash line and heavy inner corner i'm thrilled with this this was so much fun to do it was so much fun to play with so far i haven't had any issues with patchiness or blending everything kind of worked how I wanted it to, so that's really good. I wasn't really sure how it was gonna go since I haven't used it before. I didn't go in with low expectations by any means, but I just didn't know what to expect. Um, I love this so much. I think it came out really cute. The eye pencil I paired with it is Chartreuse Flash from NYX. I thought it would go with that little lower lash line shimmer nicely. My lashes are Nova from Lunar Beauty, and on my lips I went with the Bitjet lip pencil from ColourPop and the Dose of Colors Extra Saucy Liquid Lip. Clearly, I was feeling the pops of red today, and I just love this. I think it's a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to keep playing with this palette. Let me zoom out. We will finish up this video. I'll give you my thoughts so far. All that good stuff. All right, how was it? Did you enjoy the tutorial? Do you like my look? I'm so obsessed with it. It is so fun and colorful. I feel like it's bright and colorful without being a basic rainbow either, and I just, I love it. I love it a lot. I would love to know your opinion on this. Did you pick it up? I know a lot of you picked it up because I got lots of messages from you saying you did. Um, I would love to know if you picked it up, if you're gonna pick it up, are you skipping it? I just wanna hear your thoughts down below. What are your opinions on it if you do have it? I'm having so much fun. I can't wait to do more looks. I'll try to do a, like a more simplistic look at some point with this too because I know this was crazy complex and like a million shadows. I don't even know what other looks I'm gonna do at this point because I'm so inspired by like everything. I can easily see this becoming one of my favorite palettes providing everything works really nicely. I'm very excited about this one. So happy I treated myself to it. Thank you very much, Betty Jean. I'm still kicking myself because last October they came out with the Book of Magic palette, I think is what it was called, and I wanted it so bad, but I talked myself out of it. We were going through lots of financial things at that point. Still dealing with me being out of work for two months from the pandemic. My cat was having health issues. We were saving money for the house and all sorts of stuff. So I missed out on that one. I was still hoping somewhere that that still existed on Beauty Bay when I was buying that palette, but alas, it was limited edition, it's gone forever. So if you own that palette, enjoy it. Keep it close to your heart. I don't even know if that one performs as well as this one did for me, but if it did, it makes me even more sad because I loved that color story. I should have snagged it. So yeah, anyways, if you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me the most colorful emojis you can find? And if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.